Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this exponential equation and we are going to solve for x. Let's go ahead and look at this equation. We got square root of x power log of square root of x equals to 10 power square root of 10. So let's go ahead and get started with this solution. And here we want to make things simple. So let's go ahead and make a substitution. And now let's focus on this exponent log of square root of x. Here I am going to let, uh, let y equal to log of square root of uh, x. And here we can see that the base for this log is missing. Always remember if the base is missing, so this has got to be 10, which we call it common log. Now let's go ahead and convert this logarithmic form into an exponential form by using this formula. So that is going to give us square root of x equals to 10 power y. And now let's revert back our attention to our this original equation here. Square root of x I am going to replace it by 10 power y and this log of square root of x I'm going to replace it by y. So therefore our equation could be written as 10 power y and then power y equals to 10 power square root of 10. And now the left hand side could be written as 10 power y times y. We're going to multiply that's going to give us y square by using this uh, rule of exponent equals to 10 power square root of 10. And now we can see that our bases are same on both sides. So that means we can equate our these uh, exponents. So therefore I can write y square equal to square root of 10. But we know that this y is equal to log of square root of x. So we are going to substitute back. So therefore I can write this one log of square root of x and then power 2 equal to square root of 10. And in the next step, this square root of x could be written as x power 1 over 2 according to this fact. Now let's go ahead and apply this power rule according to this rule, this exponent 1 over 2, we could move it in the front. So therefore I can write this thing 1 over 2 times log of x and then the power 2 equal to square root of 10. And now in the next step I can separate them. I can put 1 over 2 square times the log of x square equal to square root of 10. And here's our next step. Let's take care of this square. So 1 over 2 square is same as 1 over 4 times log of x square equal to square root of 10. Let's go ahead and remove this 4. I'm going to multiply by 4 on both sides. This 4 and 4 is gone. So we got log of x and then power 2 equals to 4 times square root of 10. And now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. I'm going to take a square root on this side as well. This square and square root is gone. So we got a log of x equal to, we are going to put a positive or negative. Make sure I can write this square root of 4 times the square root of square root of 10. And in the next step, log of x equal to positive or negative. Square root of 4 is simply 2. And now let's focus on this square root of square root of 10. 
And here I have copied it down and after a few steps we can see that uh, it turns out to be a 10 power 1 over 4 which is same as the fourth root of uh, 10. So therefore the square root of square root of 10 could be written as uh, the fourth root of uh, 10. And here in this next step I have split these two with the positive and negative sign over here. This is with the positive sign and this is with the negative sign. And once again the base for these log is missing. By default the base is 10. And now let's go ahead and use once again this rule to convert these logarithmic forms into exponential form. So that could be written as x equal to 10 power 2 times the fourth root of 10 and on this side this could be written as x equal to 10 power negative 2 times the fourth root of 10 and thus here are our these two solution and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye